There are tremendous opportunities today that people do not take seriously. Well, maybe it's because they are just in our faces and easily accessible. So, we take them for granted. But then, if you dream of having an excellent career and a financially stable future, you should look closely at these opportunities. In this video, I will share with you 7 tremendous opportunities most people are not taken seriously. 1. Availability of free learning resources on the internet Internet access has become relatively commonplace for students and professionals all over the world. The internet is one of the most excellent tools for self-expression and access to information ever. From communicating with students and fellow teachers via various platforms to accessing limitless research online, the internet can genuinely expand students. More than ever before, there are tons of resources at your disposal. By just searching a keyword on Google, hundreds of web pages containing written content, images, videos and links pop on your screen. When it comes to finding information about important things online, some people find it hard to navigate through much information and sort out the relevant ones. Even though a lot of learned people have access to phones, PCs and the internet, they don't maximize the tons of information on the internet. For instance, many students who have access to free Wi-Fi connection from their institutions use the internet to watch videos, chat on social media and even play online games. Likewise, some workers with open office Wi-Fi do not use access to grow their career. There are so many resources that you can imagine on the free internet. Use it to develop yourself. 2. Social Media Audience Social media has become more popular. Most people sleep and wake up to their social media handles. Facebook has become an archive to keep pictures, as that is how many people use it. Some time ago, you had to be a movie or music star to have a fan base. But today, getting access to a wide range of people can be attained by virtually anyone. But sadly, most people underestimate the value of having access to an audience. Come to think of it, do you think Mark Zuckerberg acquired Instagram for $1 billion and WhatsApp for $19 billion and even tried to buy Snapchat at some point just for you to chat with your friends and family? Hell no! Even though Facebook intended to connect family members, it has grown past that stage. Mark has looked into the future with his mind's eye and that is why he keeps adding features to Facebook and striving to buy those other applications. Today, many individuals have gotten to stardom just through the use of these media platforms. 3. Teaching with Technology Technology no doubt has impacted every sector of the world, especially the educational sector. In a national survey conducted by PBS, a whooping 93% of educators surveyed reported that they believed interactive whiteboards helped to enrich their classroom. However, many tutors and schools are yet to take advantage of the opportunity technology brings. A practical case study is the number of schools that have been shut down, especially in Africa, since the outbreak of the novel COVID-19 virus. While some schools and teachers are already taking advantage of the opportunity in technology and using it to dish out knowledge steal, most still have a lot of catching up to do. According to a pre-COVID-19 prediction, the global online education market is expected to reach about $350 billion by 2025, with the current closing down of schools and many education institutions forced to explore teaching with technology this figure is likely to grow even faster than expected after the lockdown. When this happens, many schools that are not technically inclined will shut down completely. Besides schools, many professionals and hobbyists now leverage the technology to enlighten people in their field. But then, a whole lot of professionals do not yet employ teaching with technology as side revenue. As we move further into the 21st century, it is clear that technology is an ever-evolving part of education and one that's here to stay. 4. Setting up an online business Do you know that you don't need to rent an office space to start your own business? You can set up a business or freelance service anywhere in the world and reach a global audience right from your sitting room. Of course, you had to put in the work to attract customers, but the tools are already available for free. You need to learn how to use these tools and be consistent. 
You can market your business, share your expertise and reach a broad audience online. However, this opportunity is helplessly underrated. It was not until the recent pandemic that caused a lot of people to lose their jobs that individuals have been forced to think in the direction of building online businesses. Google receives over 5.6 billion searches per day. Over 1.3 billion people use YouTube. Over 1.7 billion people on Facebook. Not to mention other online media platforms. Do you now see how far your online business can go? 5. Attending networking events Do you know that one of the best ways to expand your network is via conferences and events and that your network is your net worth? But many people do not leverage the opportunity. If you are an entrepreneur, networking is critical. One study states that networking is vital to the success of 78% of startups. Networking does not only allow you to meet new people but also allows you to also share ideas. Attending an event can transform your business overnight. Because events and conferences are a great place to meet a lot of like-minded people at one time, make lifelong connections, pitch your ideas, collaborate and lots more. At a conference, you will be able to get together with people from a wide range of backgrounds of whom you may not encounter at your home, workplace or institution. As you build your professional network, conferences can also become a great place for meeting with people in your field that you haven't connected with in a while. Many successful business people travel far for events not only to learn but also to meet up with other professionals. When you attend events, make it a point of duty to interact with other attendees. 6. Big Data Consider that someone knows when you go to bed at night, what food you love to eat, what kind of restaurant you like to visit, where you love to vacate to, what time you go to work and return home, what traffic route you take, what brand of the item you buy, almost everything about your life. Furthermore, think about if that same person has access to the daily lifestyle of millions of people. Well, Google, Facebook and the likes know that much about your family and so does some other companies. Now you know how you can get bulk text messages from organizations that you do not remember even contacting. Data is the new gold and who has the information has the control. Data is now broadly perceived as a source of competitive advantage. Thus, the demand for knowledge in the field of data analytics, business intelligence and data science will continue to grow and evolve. So, if you are an analytical person who loves numbers, using your skills to follow the path of data science will do you a whole lot of good. 7. Agriculture According to McKinsey, rising urbanization and the growth of urban middle class consumers in Africa could lead to $645 billion in growth in consumer spending between 2015 and 2025. Of that growth, $167 billion could be in food and beverage. What this research entails is that demand will continue to grow in the agricultural sector in many years to come. But then, even though agriculture is one of the oldest human professions, it is arguably one of the most underrated jobs in the world. Most people associate agriculture to poverty. Even with the resources as to the promising future of agriculture, many people are still short-sighted and only a few people are taking advantage of this enormous opportunity and investing in agriculture. When the word agriculture is mentioned, people assume that it is farming and to them also, farming is an occupation only for the poor. Farming and agriculture in general have long moved past the poverty narrative. In Africa, Agriculture provides about 23% GDP, yet the potential of the agricultural sector can be said to still be untapped. So, the next time you see an opportunity to invest in agriculture, take it seriously. Not being aware is no longer a reason. Now you know about these opportunities, grab them.